anyone there? said the traveller, knocking on the moonlit door, and his horse in the silence chapped the grass of the forest's ferny floor. And a bird flew up out of the turret above the traveller's head. He smote upon the door again a second time. Is anybody there? he said. But no one descended to the traveller, no head from the leaf fringed sill leaned over and looked into his grey eyes where he stood perplexed and still. But only the host of phantom listers that dealt in, in the lone house then stood listening in the quiet of the moonlight to the voice from the world of men. Stood foraging the faint moonbeams on the dark stair that da- that goes down to the empty hall, hearkening in an air, stirred and shaken by the lonely traveller's call. And he felt in his heart their strangeness, their stillness, answering his cry. While his horse moved, cropping the dark turf, neath the starred and leafy sky, for suddenly he smote on the door even louder and lifted his head. Tell them I came, and no one answered, that I kept my word, he said. Never the least stir made the listeners, though every word he spake fell echoing through the shadowiness of the still house from the one man left awake. I, they heard his foot upon the syrup and the sound of iron on stone and how the silence surged softly backward when the plunging of hoofs were gone. The listeners by Walter Dean Mayer.